If you're looking for the best podcasting microphone for this year, you have come to the right place. Podcasting is a huge and growing industry, and with pro equipment becoming easier to buy, making your own professional podcast at home is easy to do. You'll want to invest in a mic to ensure that your listeners can hear the passion in your voice as you discuss your favourite topics. However, with so many choices, it can be hard to pick while still making sure you get the best value for money. Today, we're going to be reviewing the three best podcasting microphones based on price, performance, features and situations they'll be used in. Before we dive in, we have included the best prices in the description, so be sure to check that for the latest information. The products featured today are in no exact order, so stay until the end to make sure you don't miss anything. Okay, so we'll start by looking at the Samsung Go, our choice for the best budget podcasting mic. The silver Samsung Go is an ultra-reliable mic that is currently available for around $40. Picking out a microphone can seem like an intimidating process with so many recording patterns to know about. Although the Samsung Go mic is nearly a decade old, it's still a go-to pick for many starting content creators and podcasters. Let's take a look at this affordable mic. Design-wise, the Samsung Go has a die-cast base that is zinc moulded and fitted with a shock absorbent pad which is to isolate the recording capsules from vibrations. Aside from acting as a shock absorber, the base also serves as a clip for computer monitors and a cover for the microphone itself. This comes in addition to the included zipper carrying case. Behind the windscreen there are two 10mm capsules which are internally shock isolated and can record both cardioid and omnidirectional polar patterns. The pattern switch is found on the interior side of the mic housing where you can choose between the two different patterns. Moving on, there's an LED indicator that is useful for notifying you of power supply and clipping where it blinks red when noises are too loud. Additionally, the outer edge of the recording module houses two inputs, one for a 3.5mm headphone plug and another for a mini B USB power supply. Looking at the setup, installing the microphone is simple. Unlike some mics where you need to stress about getting the correct XLR connector and adapter, the Samsung Go mic is a plug and go option for people who don't need top notch studio recording quality and prefer ease of use. If you're using something like Audacity or Adobe Audition, all you have to do is plug the microphone in via the included USB cable and hit record. The included cable is well reinforced and seems resistant to fraying, which makes sense since this is predominantly a travel microphone. Overall, this is one of the best USB microphones out there for podcasters on a budget. Whilst it's not going to give you the professional sound quality like the Shure SM7B will, by the way, the review of that is coming later, This little mic is great for the beginner or podcaster on the move. Next on our list is the HyperX Quadcast, our top pick for a USB podcasting mic. The HyperX Quadcast is an ultra-credible USB mic available for around $120. Starting with the design, this mic looks a lot like a hairbrush minus the bristles. It's held up on a tilting stand with a rather robust dual shot mount and on the bottom of the capsule is a gain dial to increase or decrease the sensitivity. On the back of the mic is a knob to swap your pickup pattern. If you're living with family or roommates, a dedicated mute touchpad on the top is a godsend, especially if you're midway through recording an episode. Just tap it to toggle the mute function. You won't need a pot filter with the HyperX Quadcast because there's a foam-like material immediately beyond the grill. This does a decent job of breaking up pressure spikes associated with plosive sounds that can cause distracting loudness spikes. Additionally, the microphone has lighting behind the grill, which is an ultra-visible reminder that you're live to the world. Onto connectivity, the Quadcast drivers will auto-install once you plug the unit in on most systems. You also don't have to use the Type A to Type C USB cable that's included in the box, but it's definitely the most convenient way of connecting your mic. It has four microphone patterns, stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid and bidirectional. For recording a solo podcast, you'll probably want to use cardioid, where your voice will come through full and clean. It does a fine job of isolating room noise, even if you want to keep a window open. If you want to record a bunch of people for a podcast, you'd be better served with an array of shotgun mics, but the quadcast is still more than good enough. Overall, if you're looking for the best USB mic so you can get up and running with your podcast fast, the Quadcast will serve you brilliantly and we highly recommend you check it out. Finally, we have the Shure SM7B, our best of the best choice for a podcasting mic for this year. 
The SN7B is a costly microphone available for around $399 and is one of the most famous professional mics on the market. Let's take a look. The industry standard SM7B needs little introduction. Its famous design reflects the company's attention to detail and prioritization of premium construction. There are two toggles that allow you to select one of three responses depending on what the situation calls for. The yoke mounting mechanism is brilliant and makes it easy to attach and detach the SM7B from your favorite mic stand, whilst the yoke's adjustment is smooth and offers just enough resistance to keep the microphone in its deliberately placed position. The pre-installed pop filter effectively eliminates plosives, meaning you can speak freely without monitoring how close you are to the recording capsule. Shaw also provides a detachable windshield to further reduce plosives and to produce a bassier tone. It's worth saying that there's little need for an external pop filter since the pre-installed one works so well. The mic features plenty of advanced internal hardware to protect the cartridge and other components, such as its internal air suspension shock apparatus. This greatly reduces mechanical noises that would otherwise make their way into recordings. Onto the sound quality, it has a very rich yet neutral and completely natural sounding low end. In this respect, it is comparable to a quality bass microphone. You won't hear any distortion or boominess of a typical consumer grade mic, it is just clean, deep and balanced bass, which is one of the reasons why podcasters fall in love with this microphone. The only downside with this mic is that it's not plug and play, so you'll need a preamp to be able to get the most out of it. Overall, if you want the best podcasting mic money can buy, the Shure SM7B is a living legend, and one we highly recommend you pick to get your podcast to the top of the charts. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you found this video helpful, please subscribe to support the channel. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best tech products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Finally, be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.